Hey guys, Brett Weiss here. Thank you so much for tuning in. I recently did an episode on factory sealed games. I pointed out several of my factory sealed games, where I got them, why I had them, and that kind of thing. And I had some interesting comments and some messages from people wanting me to open some of the games. And um, I thought, well, that takes away a lot of their value. And two games in particular, Buzz Bombers and Tron Deadly Disc for the Intellivision, I had uh, people specifically wanted me to open those, and I would actually thought about opening these games because I like these games a lot. I do have them separately in the car as cartridges so I can still play them, but I thought it'd be neat to open these, but it takes away a lot of their value. Buzz Bombers is worth probably around 30 or so dollars factory sealed, and Tron Deadly Discs is worth around 70. I have the storybook version, you know, the, the flap, you know, you open it like a book, and um, so I thought, well, that would take away a lot of their value, and I, I hate to devalue my collection that way, but it would be neat to open them, because uh, I love these two games, and it would just be neat to see if there's anything else inside, like maybe a little catalog, you know, of Mattel games, or, um, I don't know, a fold, little fold-out poster, you never know, ads, a warranty card, something. And um, I thought, okay, to be able to afford to open these, maybe if I sold some books. Um, and so I put it out just for fun, and just to kind of help me out a little bit, I put out a message on Facebook, or a post on Facebook, saying if you bought these four books for $100, and that includes shipping, you know, all four, which is about what they go for retail, that I would open them. And, you know, that, that way I could, uh, you know, open these factory sale games and, you know, not be out a lot. And so I actually got a message, three of you guys, I appreciate it very much, uh, reached out to me and um, bought the books. Now, I very much appreciate that. And uh, so I'm going to, you know, very shortly, I am going to open these uh, factory sealed games, these hard to find factory sealed games. They do have the uh, vertical seal on the back. You can tell they are factory sealed. And I'm gonna open these in just a minute. And it'll, I'll be like a kid at Christmas, like in the uh, early 80s, you know. And um, so that's gonna be some fun. But I wanna point out who, um, you know, just give a little props to the people who bought my books uh, to make this uh, video, uh, to make it happen. Uh, first of all is Pete Noel. He's one of my Patreons, and uh, just a great guy, very supportive. So thank you, Pete, very much for um, helping this video happen. Also got a shout out from Colin, Lisa, and CJ. Sounds like a nice little family. Uh, they bought the four books uh, to help make this happen. Thank you so much, guys. Again, that's Colin, Lisa, and CJ. I really appreciate it. And then one from Richard Haywood. Now he's a YouTuber, and um, he wanted me to say the following. So he um, does a YouTube channel, Bacon Ice Cream Productions and Team RTFC are YouTube content groups creating videos on board, card, and video games. Their current focus is on the Transformers trading card game and our SRG Super Show wrestling card game. Rich, co-host and production manager, has begun expanding content to classic video games. Now, so head on over to the channel, join the fun, and like and subscribe. Now, I will link to their video, um, you know, to their um, YouTube channel. Uh, here on this video, so if you guys want to give them a sub, that would be awesome. So thank you, Richard Haywood, for that. I very much appreciate that. All right, so without further ado, let's unbox these games. So first, let's go with Buzz Bombers. Now, Buzz Bombers, uh, according to marketing, I mean, it's basically, uh, that's what Mattel wanted to do, a centipede game. You know, they had Space and Armada for their uh, Space Invaders type game, and marketing wanted a centipede type game, Therefore, Buzz Bombers. Now in this game, you got a can of bee repellent along the bottom of the play field, blasting bees to turn them into honeycombs. You can see uh, what the play field looks like there. And um, marketing actually had a version of the game prototyped with a raid can that they tried to sell to SC Johnson, you know, to get some marketing going, kind of like their Kool-Aid game. But uh, SC uh, Johnson uh, declined. And in this game, it does have Flight of the Bumblebee, that classic, uh, a uh, classical piece of music composed by Nikolai Rimsky Karzakov, and it was in public domain, so they did use that. So I'm gonna be, I've got my box cutter here, I'm gonna be very careful uh, opening this. And let's just look inside and see if there's anything in here other than a cartridge and a manual. Go get a look inside there. Man, it's so nice to open up a, just got that new game smell. Oh, cool. It does have a catalog, that's neat. Very nice, beautifully showing off. 
television games. Very nice. And uh, let's see what else we've got. Ah, 90 day warranty card. So that's long expired. Plus I opened it, so who knows? And I'm sure it works fine. And the instruction manual, nice little blue cover there. And inside it's got the blue and black. Very cool, so minty fresh, fun. And let's see what else we got. Oh, cool. It's got the, the keypad overlays. See, they're still attached to each other. Just, there we go. And of course, if I can get it out here, I have to open it from the bottom to get the cartridge. And the nice, minty fresh game cartridge. So that is Buzz Bombers. It's really neat to open this because I, I really like, for games that I really like a lot, I do like to have the boxed complete version. And when it's factory sealed, can't enjoy it that way. But I did have the cartridge. So I'll, uh, I'll make sure the cartridge makes it to a good home because uh, big and television fan and Buzz Bombers isn't super rare, but it is uncommon. And let's see, now let's get to Tron Deadly Disc. Now Tron Deadly Disc was in production at the same time as Tron, the 1982 Disney movie that so many gamers love. The design for the game was based on storyboards and production stills from the film. As Tron, you throw discs at the evil blue warriors and they, they'll, throw, they'll throw discs at you and they bounce them off mirrors and hit you. Pretty challenging game, you can catch the discs. Fun game, it's a good action title. And according to blueskyrangers.com, um, this is the favorite game in television game, or a favorite of David Warhol, the you know legendary programmer. And he, the website says, he plays with one controller in each hand, one for maneuvering, for maneuvering with your thumb on the disc, one for throwing, thumb on keypad. And, he, and then here's a quote from Warhol, if you like deadly disc with one hand controller, you'll love it with two, he says, try it now and thank me later. All right, so let's open up Tron Deadly Discs and hopefully we'll get some surprises in here as well. It's neat that uh, Buzz Bombers had the warranty and the little catalog there. So let's just see what's in Tron Deadly Discs. And again, this is the storybook version, the kind that opens out like a book. It's worth more than just the one that just has the normal flap. So let's open this sucker up, see what's inside. Again, very much like Christmas. Uh, I really like opening factory sealed games. Now my buddy Matt Miller, uh, you may have seen his comments on my Facebook post. He said if he had an extra $100, he would pay me that not to open them because he's a big time into preservation and I totally understand that. Uh, but you know, games, they're meant to be played. And, and like I said, the used versions of these, I will make sure those go to a good home. And look, this is really cool. I love these stuff. <laughs> Already had, you open it up. One problem with these is that stuff falls out as soon as you open it. So you do have the uh, keypad overlays. And three popped right out. And let's see. Anyway, Tron Diddly just beautiful box. You know, really red, nice and red and shiny. I love that art. And you open it up here. And you got the cartridge, of course. Nice, it does have some of the glue that you can see that's uh, gone through the label, but that's, you know, these are old games, over 30 years. Minty Fresh Instruction Manual. And another catalog, very nice. All right, guys, there you go. It's funny that it came with uh, three, it comes with these too, these little pieces of paper that, uh, that are with the uh, little keypad overlays, so I thought there might be more. But it's interesting that there are three keypad overlays. I guess they figure one of them will eventually wear out, the one you use the most. <laughs> and uh, anyway, you get three keypad overlays, or maybe it was a factory mistake where they accidentally put three in there. But anyway, there you go. Neat box, Tron Deadly Disc, a favorite of many in television owners. And guys, I got to thinking, if you guys want me to open Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back for the Intellivision. Again, this is an even trade because uh, you're getting $100 worth of, of books. If one of you wants to put in an order for these books, $100, ev these books, the classic home video game series has write-ups for every game, for every system, 
uh, pre, or actually, yeah, pre Super Nintendo. So the Genesis, Neo Geo, Atari 2600, Atari 7800, NES Master System. So you get a whole encyclopedia set of uh, retro games. And then Retro Pop Culture A to Z has 60 of your favorite subjects, movies, cartoons, gaming, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Hundred dollars worth of books, U.S. only. If you want me to open Star Wars: The Empire Strikes Back, I will gladly do that in another video. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Please hit that like button. Please subscribe to the channel. And um, Pete Noel again, thank you. He's my Patreon. Thanks once again to all you guys that helped make this happen. Colin, Lisa, and CJ, and Richard Haywood. Thank you so much. If you guys want to become a Patreon uh, to the channel, just Google Brett Weiss Patreon. Plus, I'll put a link on this video. And um, with, you know, that's it. So now I do have, I consider sort of two more games in my television collection that are complete now that I've opened them up. Anyway, lots of fun. Look forward to playing brand new in television games a little later today. All right, guys, thanks again for watching. I will talk to you later. Peace out.